Hey, how's it going? We're Sorted. We're a group of mates from London looking for exceptional things in food that will make a difference to you. Or just make you laugh. Some of us are chefs, the rest of us, <clears throat> we're normals. But every video we make always starts with a suggestion from you. Hello, my name is Ben and this is Barry. Are you ready for some amazing meringues? In front of us we have three different meringues. Each takes a different amount of time to make. Each has a different method for making it. But which one is best? Well, we will compare them at the end, but together we're going to show you how to make them first. First up, a 10 minute meringue. Can you tell? Do you really want meringues but only have 10 minutes? Well, it can be done and I'm going to do it right now with some eggs, some kiwis, some passion fruit, pistachios, vanilla and some sugar and of course, these two. First up, you want to separate your egg whites from the yolks and get that into a bowl over some simmering water, chuck in your sugar and bring that together until the sugar starts to dissolve and it's clear between your fingers. Once the sugar's all dissolved, into the bowl of a stand mixer and get that going. Now, the best thing about this is the fact that while this does all the hard work, it means I can get on with prepping my fruits. Once this is cool with soft pigs, time to add some crunch by putting some pistachio nuts in my mini chopper. Give them a few pulses until you get a nice, fine-ish crumb. Like this. Now, the only thing left to do is to, well, get artsy. Once you've got a generous serving of meringue on your plate, time to blowtorch. I reckon I've got about 25 seconds left. Time to chuck on everything else. Ah, uh, right. If you want a bit of texture no. though, come over this way. <laughs> no. Come over here and we'll do a vegan one. Yeah, you heard right, vegan meringues. We're getting rid of the egg and using chickpeas. Yeah, we'll show you how it's done. It's chickpea water, sugar, cream of tartar and vanilla. And the topping's much the same, kiwi, passion fruit, pistachio, but we're adding in an element of creaminess using coconut cream. Now, this recipe is gonna use a lot of whisking, so we're gonna use one of these. Give me when you got little arms. What do you mean? Now this blows my mind yeah. every time. You want to take yourself a tin of chickpeas, open it up and drain off the chickpea water. Mm -hmm. Need mm -hmm. 100 ml and then we're going to whip that up with cream of tartar. One of the reasons the machine is handy is you want a really slow dribble of sugar while it's whisking really fast. Two things worth sharing. One, it will take about 10 minutes. So probably at least twice as long as regular egg whites. Mm -hmm. Point two, hummus. I'm gonna splodge it into a piping bag, and then we're gonna do kind of five or six centimeter blobs on a baking tray lined with baking paper. These blobs need to bake for 45 minutes, 120 degrees Celsius, then switch the oven off, but leave them in there for another 45 minutes to cool down. While you do that, I'm gonna prep the fruit. And I'm also gonna wash this out, make sure it's sparkly clean, because otherwise Ben gets angry, and then stick that and the whisk in the fridge. Oh, I, you're gonna tell me off now, aren't you? I'm not gonna tell you off. I just watched you prepare a kiwi and I thought, oh, I thought we covered this. We have, we have covered this, I just forgot. Take the top off. Take the bottom off. Nuts, exactly the same as the first recipe. Oh, I did something like that, did I? Yeah, I'm gonna use yours. Good. Blitzed up in a mini chopper. The first one didn't have, but most good meringue desserts need some sort of element of cream. Obviously not cream in the form of dairy. Mm -hmm. 
for a vegan dish, but we're gonna use coconut milk. And this has been in the fridge overnight, full fat coconut milk, open it up, take the solid cream off, and then whip it in that bowl and whisk that you've also been chilling in the fridge. Whip it up fast, but for a short length of time until it's all smooth, and then whisk in the icing sugar until it's combined. Here are some we made earlier. Yeah, yeah. And have already cooled. Now to construct. Eat and mess style, crumble a few. Break a few, and then delicately put a few nice ones on top, and then chuck on your fruit as well. Interesting. Yeah. However, if you come over this way, let's make it this way. Let's do away with the average meringues and let's go right to the top, not only in meringue form, but also in presentation. Yeah, this is French style meringue piped into cups. We're going to serve two together on top of each other, each cup filled with a different cream filling. But is it going to be worth the extra effort? Let's find out. We are using eggs, sugar, cream of tartar, classic meringue. The topping's the same before, kiwi, passion fruit, this time with real cream, and we're adding in chocolate. And of course, Ben's puny little arm muscles aren't gonna be able We've to handle We've done that joke. You can't come into the third one and just crack the same jokes. <laughs> I didn't realize you'd have done that. It's so obvious though, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Three large egg whites into our stand mixer bowl and whisk it up until you've got stiff peaks with a little bit of cream of tartar and then gradually dribble in the sugar. Hemisphere silicon moulds upside down. Jamie, grease the bottom. Very, very necessary or else later on it is so difficult to get these off. kind of want to pipe like this egg glue like shape around the hemisphere. Depending on how good you are at piping, you can either just leave it like that, so you've got those rings, or you can kind of smush it all together. Importantly, no holes anywhere. Right, something like that. Bring it here, bring it here. It's really hard to do it from the top to the bottom. Why do you think I started from the bottom? <laughs> we'll use the fork technique on that one. It'll be fine. Same temperature as our aqua faba, the chickpea water meringues, 120 degrees Celsius. This time, one hour. Then switch the oven off and leave them in for another hour. Let's talk filling. We're going to whip up some double cream and some sugar in our stand mixer until it becomes soft peaks. We're then going to take out our whisk attachment, put in a folding attachment, and fold in some dark chocolate chips. Here's where the fun really starts. We're going to divide our cream into two separate bowls, and in one half, we're going to put passion fruit, and in the other half, we're going to put kiwi. And that's going to form the two halves of our meringue. Bomb together, yes. And now the moment of truth. Did you oil? Top's okay. Meringue cups. Fill one half with the kiwi filling, one half with the passion fruit filling. Kapow. <laughs> Consider the game raised. Well, different purposes though. Should we dig in this end? Come on, pick up a spoon. I love the fact that this can all be done in 10 minutes. It's one of those, I've damn, I've forgotten to make dessert. Yeah. But I'm gonna show off with a blowtorch anyway. There's always time for dessert. Cheers. Oh, no! I have to say the silkiness of that meringue because it's still soft and not cooked all the way through like you'd expect a, a, a normal meringue to be. That is great. I think when people tell me like a meringue dessert, I always instantly think berries. And I love the fact that the kiwi and the passion fruit and the nut gives it a whole tropical flavour. Are you going to say that each time? And the Swiss <laughs> and the Swiss meringue in it has got, as you say, that kind of almost 
marshmallow middle, yeah. and that torched small like outside. Delicious, but but all with the nut the only texture. Whereas here, a little bit of a crunch to our you ruined it. the coconut takes this to another level. Mm. There is a flavour that I did not expect to happen. I knew it was there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't like coconut, do you? <laughs> Chickpea meringue. The meringues themselves, I'd say, taste like meringues. Yeah. The coconut milk is a new little twist. Creamy and tropical. Mm. And you've got the texture and the pop of the passion fruit again. Right. <laughs> Jamie, how do we crack into the bomb? From the top. Do you smash it? Smash it. Yeah. Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. That. French-style oh. meringue. Look at that. Added Ooh. chocolate. Oh, oh, oh. Cheers. It's almost like pavlova <laughs> Out of all three of the meringues, this is the only one that's got the chew to it that you only get from certain meringues. And I think that is a really great texture to have. French meringue, I think, is the easiest to make out of all of them. But by piping it and doing something completely different in presentation, that one had something to talk about right from the start, as did the torching. Mm -hmm. And the talking point of that is when you put it in front of someone who's expecting vegan, you go, I can't normally have this. Yeah. And you have that talking point. They've all got talking points. Pick a favourite. Mine. Really? I'm, not, I'm not just saying that. That's because I think, even though it's really quick, if I was served my one and your one in a restaurant, I'd still pick mine. I prefer the, it coats the mouth. I think that's got more going for it because it's got the texture, but I think of the three, that one has impressed me the most. This is the one that I'd make if I had time and I wanted to be delicate, but we know me, and therefore I would make that one, but I'd make it as like a platter, so I'd yeah, make yeah. a big that's version it. and put it in the middle of the table for everyone to dig into. Wow. Who saw that coming? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Comment down below. Let us know which one's your favourite, which one would you cook, which one do you want to put in your mouth right now? You've heard it all before, but it really does matter. If you like the video, please like the video. And of course, make sure you're subscribed and you're notified so every time we upload a video, you get notified. That's yeah, wrong. which is Sunday and Wednesday at 4pm. Yeah, just ring the bell. Thank Bye. you. As we mentioned, Sorted is just run by a group of friends, so if you like what we're doing, then there are loads of ways that you can support us and get more involved. Everything you need to know is linked below. Thanks, and see you in a few days. In front of us, we have one fantastic meringue and two other contenders. Shut up. <laughs>